the 78 Ford F-150 and it needs a water pump. Okay, so here's the water pump. This is it right here. And it's, it's making a terrible noise. And I'm also going to eliminate this mechanical fan and put an electric fan, but that'll be a separate video. Step is to drain the radiator. First, I'm going to take this fan off. Last bolt here. Okay, so there's the fan. This spacer. This one I have to loosen the alternator. It's a little tight. Okay, I'm just loosening the alternator to get a little bit more slack here. And this upper bolt too. Okay, there we go. Plenty of room to get these belts off now. Oops. The pulley. And there it is. Looking right here where this turns. It doesn't feel rough, but you can see where it's been leaking. It's all kinds of residue built up there. And it is noisy, even though I don't hear anything at the moment. It, is, it makes a lot of noise. I'm also replacing the two radiator hoses, the big ones, and the thermostat. So next step is to take these big hoses off. Just giving a little twist to break these loose gently. Now the other hose, the screwdriver head is on the bottom on this one, so unfortunately I'm going to have to get under the truck to loosen this one. Okay, let's see if I get this off. This alternator is crowding my area here, so I'm going to move it out of the way and just hold it steady by tightening it in a little bit. Okay. A little more work. Now, let's see if I can get this hose loose. Try and do this without hitting the radiator with a wrench. I think I just heard it move. It partially loosens. Let's see if I can get it off now. Let's 
Okay, there we go. Next we'll take off the thermostat housing. It's just two bolts. And there's the thermostat. I'm just going to put this aside. I have one hose to remove for the water pump. This, there are four bolts holding on the water pump. So I'm just going to take those off and it'll come off. Last bolt. There it is. You can hear it. That's way too much noise. See how this bolt hole goes all the way through into the engine coolant air area? There's going to have to be some sealant put on these threads. Not, not needed here because it doesn't. Go, these holes don't go all the way through. But on the water pump. They all, they all go all the way through, so these will, these bolt holes will have to be sealed. Pretty good match. So, before we put this on, we're going to paint this. Before I put this on, I'm going to clean off the surface. I'm also going to get the, any oil off. This is carburetor cleaner. water pump and thermostat housing gasket maker. New gasket. Okay, so that's how it goes. We'll put some sealer on it to hold it and then bolt this on. Okay, so I have this gasket maker on both sides, and it goes right there. I'm going to use a dry bolt without any sealant on it to get this lined up. And I'll come back with the sealant. And So now we'll take this alignment bolt out, put some sealant on that one. Okay. Okay, so I'm just gonna gently tighten these up. Kind of a cross pattern. The water pump came with these studs. So I'll use these to hold on the pulley. I'm going to tighten up the studs. Pretty good match. We'll see if this new one fits. Okay, this looks pretty good. All right, I'm gonna put the other side on first. Two new hose clamps.
good. And pulley. Lock nut, uh, lock washers and nuts on this. In the nut bin at the hardware store it was this was mixed with the other one, so I have one that doesn't fit. I have to make up for this later. These belts are actually in pretty good shape. It's one tiny, couple tiny cracks, but I'm I'm gonna reuse these. So now I'm just loosening the alternator again. Okay, he's built some. Okay, now adjust the alternator. You can put a little pressure on the alternator. Tighten it up. Made it a little more pressure. It's, that feels pretty good. Okay, that's good. I'll just make sure this is snug. And the top bolt. Okay. I'm just going to measure up the old hose against the new hose and make it the same. Putting on the lower hose. I'm going to put this hose clamp in a little bit easier to use orientation. Now on the top one. I think this organizer actually goes onto the fender right here. And I'm just going to put them on the water pump and the thermostat housing and tighten up the screws. And now we're going to bleed the system. Just pour the coolant straight in here. Going to pour it in until it starts coming out of the bleeder hole on the water pump, and then I'm going to put the plug in the bleeder hole. So I have to carefully watch the bleeder hole as I'm pouring this in. I think that's it. All right, so now I'm going to put that plug in. Put some sealing on this. Tighten this up so it doesn't leak. Now I can fill up this device. Now I'm just going to run it with this in place until all the bubbles come out. And it should be even bled after that, and then I'll put the new cap on and we'll be done.